My first time going to a spin event was when I was five years old. I was bullied a lot in high school and I was like, I had no self-confidence and when I graduated high school my dad could see that I was really hurt and he wanted to do something about it and then one of his friends came by and they just decided that they're going to put me into spinning and that's how we started spinning. I take it upon myself to show people that what spinning is all about and to give a females all around the world a voice to say that even if it's a male dominated sport or a male dominated field you can still do it you just have to believe in yourself and I just want to show the youth of the world that you don't have to be stuck in a box, you don't have to become uh, something that your parents want you to become. As long as you're successful in what you do, you can do anything your heart tells you to do. I come up with my new tricks with my dad, we just sit together and decide that okay you should try that and I always say no I'm scared and he says no I think you should try it and when we get to a spinning show we we'll try it and as luck would have it it would come out perfectly. <laughs> There's no judging, there's not actual judge judging the competition, it's more of who pleases the crowd the most, so it's like a dance battle, if you dance and the crowd cheers for you the most, you won, so that's how spinning is, if you do your best and you just impress the crowd, like really impress them and then they start screaming for you and screaming your name at the end of the day, all the spinners stand together in the arena and um, they call out each one's name and if the crowd screams the loudest for you, you won. <laughs> Mm-hmm.